Welcome to College Algebra. Today we're going to look at functions. The concept of a function has evolved over time from its origins at the end of the Renaissance. When first used by Descartes, it was taken to mean what we today call power functions like x squared, x cubed, and higher powers of x. Leibniz, who was a contemporary and arch-rival of Newton, expanded the usage to include geometric principles we use in graphing. Leonard Euler further developed the theory to include the common expressions of functions using sums and differences, products and quotients that make up most of the functions we'll cover in practice. But the fully general modern formulation is due to the German Johann Peter Gustav Lejeune de Richelieu, driven by the demands of the steam revolution that followed the Enlightenment, which ended with the Napoleonic Wars in the early 1800s. Relationships are formed by pairing off elements from one set with elements from another. The pairs are ordered, naturally enough, by choosing one set to come first. Because we'll want to graph these ordered pairs on a Cartesian plane, think of the first set as containing your x values, and the second as containing your y values. As we narrow our focus from relations to functions, we'll describe the x set as our inputs, and our y set as our outputs, or more often as domain and range. Sometimes we'll consider relations as mappings, and then we'll call the outputs our image, and call the input the pre-image. Try to become comfortable with all of these paired terms. Now, there are relationships, and then there are relationships. Let's consider a simple relation between Mary and Juan. We can represent it as an ordered pair. The rule is we only pose questions to the first person in the pair. If we can always get a straight answer, the relation is a function. So ask Mary, who's your boy? And there's only one answer. This kind of relation is unsurprisingly called one-to-one. One-to-one -to -one relations are always functions, called one-to-one -one functions. Now, if Maria moves in and starts up with Juan, we add another ordered pair to the relation and call the relation many-to-one. Many-to-one relations are also functions because you can get a straight answer no matter which first person you ask. Juan doesn't talk much. Now, Mary moves out, John moves in, and Maria welcomes John to the neighborhood. This relation is called one-to-many. It's never a function. It's still a solid relation, but a function can never give more than one answer. One-to-many is what you look for when you're asking if you've got a function. So long as you don't find one-to-many, you've got one. Now, functions are just relations that are never one-to-many. Remember that a function is a relation it's ordered pairs taken from two sets, x and y. An equation evolving x and y is a good place to look for a function because the solutions of the equation are already a relation. To ensure that you never have one x related to many y's, solve the equation for y in terms of x and make sure there's only one solution. In this example, any value plug in for x gives only one value for y back. So your equation is a function. But look at this example. When we solve for y, we get two values for any one x. So it's not a function. A plus minus sign in your solution always means your equation doesn't generate a function. If you've already got two functions, you can make more. Start with two functions, f and g. You can evaluate them by plugging in x values. Here, when x is 3, f is 6, and g is 10. 
we can get a new function, h, by adding them. To evaluate h at 3, take the values of f and g at 3, and add those values. We can use the same rule to generate a new function by subtraction, or by multiplication, or by division. When you've already got functions to work with, it's easy to get more. Now, it might seem that we're short on examples right now, and it's true. But in the next videos, we'll be building up a library of functions to examine more carefully. So relax. One step at a time, one after another, is enough to accomplish any journey. And once again, thanks for watching.